Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here in the wood shop, and I'm actually not building something that involves wood, I'm actually building a remote for my dust collector. If you're like me, your dust collector is over in the corner of your shop, and it is a pain in the butt to get to. Um, I generally have all kinds of junk piled over here, and you know, getting over here to the on-off switch is kind of a pain, and it's especially kind of annoying when you're going from, you know, your table saw to your bandsaw back and forth, and I generally don't like to leave it running, because where my shop is, electricity is really expensive. Uh, so I'd like to be able to switch it on and off uh, more easily. So I was looking around on the internet and I eventually decided to go with uh, iVac products here. Uh, this is the uh, iVac Pro switch and this is the iVac Pro remote. Um, this remote will run, I think it's up to eight of these switches. And uh, this uh, the, they're pretty nifty, they're kind of addressable where you can have one that'll kick on, you know, a dust collector or multiple dust collectors or different tools. And then they also have a really cool deal that uh, your tools will plug into uh, a box that looks like this that instead of being a switch uh, just uh, detects the current draw from your tool and will turn on a switch like this. So you can have, you know, say you've got a little 110 volt table saw. As soon as you turn it on, it automatically will turn on your dust collector too from up to 40 feet away, which is pretty cool. Uh, the one downside to these little boxes here, uh, they're only rated at one and a half horse, uh, which kind of sucks because I have a three horse uh, dust collector and if you have you know, a big cyclone that's five horse, these don't do any good for you. Uh, they sell, uh, IVAC sells a kit uh, to go along with these where you still have to buy this, uh, the switch box and the remote, and it's 180 bucks extra. So what I'm going to do today here is show you how you can build a... Um, a contactor that this actuates and will switch on a large dust collector. Now some of the things you're going to need here are of course uh, the either the tool remotes, handheld remote, and then the uh, you know IVAC switch. Uh, this is a the 220 version. Uh, for this application you could use the 110 or 220 version, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just bought the 220 version because they're all the same, the 110 and the 220 are both the same price and I figured I could use this for something else I'm noodling around with down the road. You're going to need some wire, uh, some plugs, probably a box, uh, another uh, outlet here to where you can plug your dust collector in. Uh, you know, you're going to need some some cable clamps. Uh, these are 3 8 ones I just had left over. Uh, you're going to need a multimeter. Uh, you don't need anything this fancy. This is a Fluke 337 from my engineering days. You don't need anything that fancy. Any multimeter should uh, get you. <clears throat> you're going to need some electric to hand tools here. Um, just again, my usual kit. You're going to need some low voltage wire if you build it the way I'm building it. And uh, you're going to need some uh, cable ties, or some uh, wire nuts here, a NEMA box. Uh, this is a NEMA housing that I had left over from uh, my greenhouse build. I decided to change the wiring around and do it a little differently, so I had this one left over. And you're, of course, going to need a contactor. Now, the contactors come in many different ways. Um, this one is a four pole, as you can see here, it is a four pole uh, 24 volt AC solenoid. Uh, so what that means is you can use this contactor to switch four poles. Uh, this could switch up to two single phase line, 220 lines. So you have your two phases and two phases. Uh, but it needs to be actuated by low voltage, uh, so 24 volts as opposed to 110 volts or 220 volts. So I have a transformer here that takes 110 or 220 and steps it down to 24 volts. Uh, the reason I am building it this way is I had this contactor laying around. It's way overkill for this. It's a 10 horse rated contactor. And I just wanted to go ahead and use it because I may uh, use in my new shop I'm kind of noodling around with, I may have uh, several dust collectors and I wanted to be able to switch them both on at once. Um, so that's kind of the reason why I was just going ahead and, and doing it that way. Plus uh, one like this is about a hundred bucks and uh, I just already had it laying around so it didn't cost me anything. Uh, the transform actuated here was about thirty bucks. I picked that up at Kirby Risk. Um, I don't know if they're in your area or not. They're really nice, really helpful and they have tons of stuff. Uh, a contactor or like a, a two pole contactor like this for a uh, five horse dust collector runs about 65 bucks. Um, so you don't have to go crazy and get a monster like this. That's pretty much all you're going to need. Uh, I'm going to try and explain as best I can here as far as uh, putting this together here. Um, you know how to go about doing it. Uh, but it's pretty simple. This is basically an on off switch uh, re remotely actuated which is going to power our transformer here, which is going to power 
our contactor here, which actually does the switching. That's kind of the overall or overview of how this is going to work. I'm going to start putting things in the box here and uh, try and take you through the process here. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here is I went ahead and mounted my contactor and my transformer in my box here, and I put three uh, cable clamps down here on the bottom. So we're going to have in and out and our control. And uh, now I'm going to start to, uh, trying to wire this up here. Okay, so I have it all assembled here, wired up and uh, hung on the wall here, and I kind of wanted to show you how to do it. I know it looks a little intimidating, but it's really quite simple. I have power coming in on this piece of Romex here. It runs up, splits off here, and all comes back out and over, and runs uh, the IVAC switch here, which then uh, switches this line right here that runs up here to our transformer. Now this transformer steps the 220 down to 110, or excuse me, steps it down to 24 volts, which runs the solenoid on our contactor here. Now the power also splits off here and runs up to these two poles on our contactor and then runs back out here and down over to this switch here, which you, or this outlet here rather, which you plug uh, the dust collector into. It's really quite a simple setup. I have all my grounds tied together here. Um, I just have these tied together here. Uh, it's really pretty easy to do. Um, you just uh, you know follow the directions that come with your contactor. Uh, this one uh, is again a four pole. Uh, you don't really need anything that big. You can go with a two pole or a three pole if you're a three phase setup. It's just what I had laying around, but it's really you know pretty simple to do. I think the hardest thing about the whole deal here was changing the addressing on my uh, remote, uh, but. It, you have to open the remote up here and uh, just change the uh, dip switches so that they match between your switch here and your remote. But now I can just any place in the shop, punch a button, and my dust collector will turn on. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, that uh, is simple enough to where you can figure it out here. Uh, I can go through it one more time here. We've got power coming in here. It splits off here, runs to the contactor, and then runs back out to this outlet here, which then runs the IVAC switch, which then runs from the IVAC switch in here to this transformer, this transformer to the uh, solenoid on our contactor, but it also, it splits off, when it splits off here coming in, it splits off and runs to these two poles on our contactor, which then run around and back out on this piece of Romex down to this outlet for our dust collector. So I don't know how I can explain that any simpler. Um, it's really pretty easy to do. This took me about an hour to uh, stick together here. And uh, yeah, it uh, works really well. I can just walk around my shop now and click it on and off. So anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope this kind of gets everybody thinking out there. Um, really is nice. Just, it's really going to be nice just to be able to, you know, anywhere in the shop, kick the dust collector on and off. Uh, you can also uh, set this uh, up here to where as I said earlier, you know, it just comes on automatically with your tools, but, you know, I have about 50 bucks in this uh, setup here versus, you know, paying 180 for the uh, kit from IVAC, so not too bad. Uh, good savings there. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, click, comment, subscribe. Anything else you want to see, I'm happy to put it up. Thanks for watching.